at the Mantis Lab, we're really focused on frontiers of, of mapping technology, uh, mapping the world around us. So that's three-dimensional, 3D positioning and mapping, and 2D imagery. We are studying and applying the technology that creates the next Google Earth, or the next Google Maps, the autonomous cars. All, the, all this technology relies on this idea of positioning and measurement and mapping. And the tools we really use in our lab is what we call remote sense. The most classic case of that would be a satellite. You have a satellite, you have a sensor, you collect this data, you get images at big scales. Then we zoom down to aerial technology, airplanes, and putting sensors in airplanes. And then we go to the very local level, which are drones. Yeah, so as an example, here's a very advanced drone. So it's still considered a small drone, but this is an extremely advanced drone. But what we have integrated on is a laser scanner. What's neat about a laser is a laser is very precise, so we can take a laser, shoot it at something, and time how quickly that laser beam hits something and comes back, and we can range with it. We can measure a distance, pulse it really fast, and we can collect three-dimensional data very quickly, and we can take a 2D image and make a 3D map, very detailed of an entire room, a building, an entire campus outside by integrating these things into a platform. A platform, which could be an airplane, satellite, a backpack on your back, here at Mantis Lab, we also have a backpack LiDAR system to allow us to scan the indoor space while we keep track of user locations. Uh, this technology is pretty important in certain applications. Uh, for example, emergency response crew may want it to perceive and understand an unknown environment. If we have LiDAR technology in hand, uh, we can achieve not only localization, but also mapping. Uh, the scan indoor space can finally be converted to uh, indoor 3D maps. There's two screenshots on the uh, point cloud. As this shows, and we can scan uh, a building and the buildings, you know, the complex uh, outdoors, and we, we can also step in the buildings. So this is the capability normal UAV cannot do. And uh, with that, we can just get the complete, uh, very comprehensive, you know, the point cloud and the 3D information we provide opportunities for students where they can be an intern, work with us on problems, or oftentimes they're called research assistants, so undergraduate research assistants, where we have an undergraduate student, we pay them a stipend. They are actually working on projects that are funded by different agencies, whether it's Department of Defense or a state agency or even a county agency. We've had several undergraduates in our program work on these cutting edge problems. So there's a lot of really cool opportunities for undergrads to get exposed to this technology, which is now making it into the mainstream. There's all these companies, engineering surveying firms, really looking for folks that understand this, know how to use it, know how to apply it. Well, those are the kind of opportunities that we provide at the Mantis Lab.